Welcome to Drunken Dwarf Crafting. I'm going to show you how to make these cool miniature books for your tabletop adventure. All right, first thing you guys are want to do is uh, download the uh, file below in the description for this printout of these book columns. There's 20 books uh, per column, five columns. You get 100 books for a sheet of paper. First thing we'll have to do now is get ourselves a, a metal straight edge and a really sharp exacto knife and carefully cut the uh, edges of the books, trying not to leave any white trim on it. Makes it easier later. And we'll just cut the edges off here on both ends. What we're left with is a nice little strip of 20 books. You take a piece of uh, foam core strip that you've cut out about an inch wide as long as you want. We're going to give it a quick shot with the glue stick at uh, hyper speed here. Get it all good and sticky and then we are going to line up the spine of the books with the edge of the glue stick. Try to get them as straight as you can starting at one end and slowly work your way to the other. The glue stick doesn't dry for a while, so you got time to move the books around on, on top of the foam core. It's just Dollar, Street, Dollar Tree uh, foam core from the dollar store. Once you get the spine lined up all nice, then slowly slide the edges of the cover down, press them in place, get any air bubbles out here. And make sure it's nice and smooth and no ripples or anything, even on both sides. And we'll just trim off the excess here. And there's your strip glued on. Now for the sake of speed, instead of waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna grab the trusty blow dryer. Give it a quick uh, blow dry on uh, cold setting so you don't melt the foam. And then the glue will be ready to go. Now we're gonna trim off the excess foam that's sticking out beyond the end of the book covers as well as on the very end. And now, what we're left with is a strip of books ready to be chopped up into individual books. Just quickly cut down the seam between each of the books with a sharp blade, trying to be as straight as possible so you don't uh, create angled edges on the book covers. It's a pretty simple process. When you're done, you're going to have a neat little pile of 20 books. Only took you a couple of minutes to make. Of all different patterns and colors and things, you can have a real variety to your library. And there you go. You've got a little pile of books. Now I'm giving each one a little squish here just to make sure the paper is adhered good to it after the cutting. Kind of creates a little bit of a angle on the books too. The, the spine is thicker than the book. Here's a little completed book in its cover. And voila! We have a very quick amount of little gorgeous little library books. Neat, eh? Didn't take too long at all. And we'll just show next to a, a little mini, just for scale. These are half inch books, about half inch tall, a little over half an inch uh, wide. So they're perfect uh, scale for the 28 millimeter minis. And we'll just throw a couple of books here uh, into an, an unfinished bookshelf that I made. That uh, They'll be glued in later. You can glue them in in any design you want. Just make it more random and messy. looks pretty cool. See, and there's a mini for scale, little two inch high bookshelf. It's gonna look great on the gaming table. Very easy to make. And here we have a couple of mostly completed shelves stuffed with scrolls and books and... There you have it, I hope you enjoyed. Carry on crafting.